Oh my God, I seriously think we may have found the best find we've ever found in one of these trips. This right here is the boom ball, but also known as the game sphere. Welcome home, Rep Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day, and I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the owner of this channel actually has a booth at the flea market. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Mom and son flea market hunting flip. She bought a pool. She bought a pool randomly, so we're gonna go pick that up. Well, I'm gonna go pick that up. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because your boy is here. And today is gonna be so much fun because we're gonna be doing one of our favorite series on this channel, and we are gonna be going to not just one of my favorite places to go, one of your guys' favorite places to go, and we are gonna be going to the flea market. And not just that, we're gonna be going with our favorite special guest, my mom. It's gonna be so much fun because we can find absolutely anything. We never know what's gonna turn up, but as always, we're looking for something 90s, 2000s, something from the modern day you know the whole intro but we're looking for the man sponge nickelodeon anything that fits the vibe we gotta hurry up though because i am already running late i'm actually so late that um that she is actually already here bro why are you over there doing the thing yeah. because you were supposed to be in my house at 8 30 and let's go <laughs> well it's 10 30 that's very and, close and if you notice he's not at my house i'm at his house well i guess the thing is justified in this case <laughs> but my mom is already here so shout out to my mom you guys love her so much and you guys have had so many nice things to say and thank well. you for all the love i appreciate it i'm yeah. not a, a really a video person but i do it for you guys and marcus yeah and she really appreciates all the kindness you guys have shown her in the last videos as well so make sure you guys leave a nice comment down below for my mom and you guys have also been so kind to mitchell too so i just want to say i love you guys so much and seriously thank you for all the kindness to me and also the people in my life we all appreciate it but anyway without any further ado let's hop in the car before my mom starts doing more than the thing and i get in trouble all right guys so we are in the car my mom is driving thankfully so i, I get to chill out today and relax we are going to be going to the first flea market we ever went to me and my mom so it's kind of cool we're going back to the start here and not just that we haven't been there in so long they should be restocked with completely new stuff up. And like I said in a previous video, it's the new year, so everybody's getting rid of a lot of their old stuff, and I think the flea market's gonna be a lot of the same thing. We should be able to see a lot of stuff people are trying to get rid of, and not just that, this was one of the locations where we found some of the most stuff, but what would you say is your favorite place you've been to so far in our hunts? Video 2. Yeah, Video 2 had a lot of really, really good stuff. We found the Winnie the Pooh cookie jar. Oh, the Scooby-Doo shampoos, right? All the shampoos. Yeah, there was some really good stuff there. I mean, you guys know me. I'm always looking for anything cartoon-related, anything animation but I'm sure we're gonna find some awesome stuff but you have your own little collection you're working on so with, you know tell them what you're working on well I have these in my kitchen like little cute bee stuff <laughs> yeah you can tell she loves animal printing and insect printing she's wearing leopard right now and yes. her old theme is gonna be bumblebee it's like black and white so and my I mom's a it. big fan of animal print right and then no it's not animal print it has actual bees okay actual bees I'm sorry I'm sorry excuse me and also the rooster from your grandpa. Mm -hmm. I put it on top of the hutch and now I bought a chicken to go with it. So now I'm doing a little chicken thing in the dining room. You had a joke about the rooster on top of the cupboard. Do you want to say it? No. No? She said that she had the biggest rooster in her complex. Yeah, that's the joke. But, <laughs> but she didn't want to say it on camera. So I'm just going to go ahead and say it. But you know, we got to keep this PG. Anyway, guys, I'll update you guys when we get to the flea market as we're working our way in there. And of course, I'm going to update you guys with anything we find. And we're going to have a lot of fun on this perfect Sunday with my mom. Okay, so we just got here right now. Me and my mom are walking. She's got her sun hat on. I think you can find my sun hat, but it's a good idea because it is super bright, surprisingly. Even though it's kind of cold. But I wanted to show you guys the new digs. My mom got me into the whole cart game. Remember the cart we got before? Me and Parker broke that cart on accident. You wanna know how? Oh. Well, we loaded like three cases of water and like four watermelons in it and somehow it broke. Well, what was the weight limit on it? Not that. <laughs> it ended up breaking. But we got a brand new cart. And I'm going to show you guys this one. It is way nicer. It has a liner. It's got a basket. It is, it's is—it's the Cadillac of carts. Let me show you it right now. Yeah, boy. Yeah, mom's stunting with the new cart. Look at this. This is beautiful. We got a little bag liner for privacy. And then we even have this little foam in the bottom to keep things from breaking through. And then check it out. A personal Coke cart. This is where I put all of my Coke Zeros whenever I need one. Okay, so we're at the first booth here. 
here and they have some cool stuff here we got some vhs's we got the grinch who stole christmas this is actually sealed so that's a maybe for right now we got fantasia we got a few in here i don't see anything nick related though but i'm not gonna lie that sealed copy of the grinch almost got me you have the sequel to little mermaid right here but i guess we keep looking around for right now nothing at our first booth here Some cool stuff over here. Nothing really for us though. We got Thanos over there. We got Michael Scott. We got Woody over here. He's seen better days. And they have some old Sailor Moon over here, which is kind of cool. It's an older issue. This is uh, book number 10, so I'm not gonna grab it. But I do see this little Merlin here. I kind of like him. I have to respect the man that was willing to name half of his children Merlin Jr. He is a sick fish and a very protective father. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab him. I can't leave him behind. He found Nemo, so we'll find him. And Merlin is gonna be our first piece into the new cart <laughs> welcome to the family Merlin. all right guys we're gonna keep looking around of course i'll update you guys if i see anything cool on here So they do have games here, and actually we need the Danny Phantom, and we also need the SpongeBob SquarePants videos, so we'll see if we can get them for a decent price, and maybe we'll pick those guys up because we're missing both those from the collection. I have to borrow my mom's money. When we go to the ATM, I'm gonna hook her up with uh, her money back. <laughs> I guess if that's a hookup. But we're looking at the DVDs while I'm here too. I do see the Scooby-Doo and Batman, but we have that one already. Okay guys, so we found this guy too. I'm gonna get this as well. If you guys don't know, I'm trying to find every Scooby-Doo piece of media that I can and have every single episode of Scooby-Doo accessible in the collection. We're trying to get everything cartoons. My mom called me, so I'm gonna go and check it out right now. But we're trying to collect everything Scooby-Doo. I'm gonna keep, literally keep saying my name. Let's see what my mom's talking about over here. You called me this many times for a Raphael that is definitely seeing better days. Okay, so what else are you gonna try to show me? The Scooby-Doo bus. Okay, we got the Scooby-Doo, the mystery machine. That is pretty cool to see right here. The mystery machine is nice. There's some awesome stuff here. Let me see what we can find. Okay, so we have the Velma down here. This is really cool. It's the vintage Velma action figure. They want 50 for it, so I'm gonna think about it. It might be a maybe. I don't know if that's for sure a great price. We're gonna keep looking around. It's awesome to see, though. And then come on over here. We got Brian from Family Guy, which is kind of cool. We got Rick. We have Fred. We got, a, we got a pretty beat up Jesse and Woody. Who's that Pokemon in the comments down below? And some Pokeballs, which is pretty cool. Upon closer inspection, his eyes are pretty messed up despite the tag. There's a lot of pieces moving out as well. I and mean, it's cool, but for the price they're asking, we're going to leave this guy. They have a couple of awesome pieces here, but everything's pretty much what it's worth. And it's not really as necessarily in the greatest shape, so we're leaving this. But I'm not complaining 100% because sometimes you do make some awesome deals. You just got to keep looking and keep your eye out. And if it's worth it and the condition's great and the price is up there, that's fine. But if it's like messed up and it's worn and you're asking a high price, there's really nothing I could do about that. I'm sad though, because I really wanted that value. A lot of times it's like this, we just kind of have to look around and just kind of scan everything. You'll see the stuff that you're looking for. It's so like right here, see a little sponge. Like my eyes are kind of built for it at this point. So we have this sponge right here. Over here we got a little Tweety, which is kind of cool. I mean, I'm looking for the cartoon related stuff, so that's kind of how I end up finding it. All right, so go ahead and grab in there. We got Tweety. You know how much I love Tweety. Uh-oh. Yeah, we got the sponge. I do have this guy in the collection, but for $2, we never leave a sponge behind. So we'll just keep on looking, guys. We already found some awesome stuff. Let's just keep it moving, and I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, this was an awesome find. We have Hannah Montana, one in a million, featuring the Jonas Brothers. Okay, who do you think you are? The sweet mama, it's the Jonas Brothers. I love it. We're going to definitely grab this girl. Oh my god, I seriously think we may have found the best find we've ever found on one of these trips. This right here is the boom ball, but also known as the Game Sphere. Uh, it's a Game Sphere! These things are really hard to find. If we can get this, that would be amazing. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but if we can get this, that would be absolutely amazing. Don't want them to charge me hundreds of dollars for it, so if we can get a decent deal on it for the collection, that would be amazing. Okay, guys, so I'm walking kind of further away so we can get a shot together where I can talk about this. But internally, right now, I'm screaming. I'm freaking out. Um, I'm in utter disbelief. Um, every term you can think of for flabbergasted, un uh, physic mentally almost in shambles of excitement. That's uh, all I can say. This is the original freaking Josh game sphere. I never would have thought we would find it. So if you guys don't know, I didn't get a chance to explain it too well in that moment. The game sphere from Drake and Josh is not actually a game sphere. Do you see it, mom? 
the game sphere. She's like, I have no clue what's going on. I don't know. <laughs> what I was trying to say is the game sphere from Drake and Josh is not actually a game console. They use this device right here, the Memorex Boom Ball. And a lot of people know about it. And it's an extremely rare piece because it was only available at Target. The fact that we found one here at the flea market is unbelievable. Let's check it out and see if it's inside of here. All right, so let's pop it out. Let's see it. It looks like it's new. Come on in, mom. New, it's never even been used. People online charge so much money for one of these and I don't really care about the value to be honest. I just want one so we can have it inside the collection. I'm gonna get definitely a custom made Game Sphere decal so we can put on this and give us our own official Drake and Josh Game Sphere. Literally they, goosebumps. This is one of the greatest. Did they finds. come in different colors? No, I, it might have, but red was the one that he had. Josh had in the episode. Ryan's already put it on screen. I seriously have goosebumps. I'm shaking here because this is literally one of the greatest finds I've ever found. So, I'm mean, honestly, my whole day's made. Let's see what else we find, but awesome day already. Okay, so we are cutting off into the other side of the flea market now we were on one side of it now we're going to the other side how would you rate our first side well according to your face pretty darn good yeah 10 out of 10. <laughs> my mom hasn't found anything for her bee collection quite yet but we're gonna help my mom try to find something bee related if we can we last time we were looking for the money clip and we couldn't find it yeah the money tier i made my own brian put a picture of it last time she did find her own money clips but no matter what we find today we had an awesome day. <laughs> okay, guys, they have some awesome stuff here at this next booth that I found. I love that little pirate ship down here, but I think the thing that I like the most right here has got to be the Hannah Montana speaker. It's got that Y2K tin stenciling on the side, too. It is beautiful. Let's see how much it is, but we're going to look around as well for other stuff. All right, so we're still moving through here. We are still looking. The whole path we just went through didn't have much. Honestly, we had some amazing stuff at the start, but let's keep on looking through here. Okay, I got to say, I like the, uh, the BFF wallet here. That's not bad at all a little scraped up but very very cute all right we'll see if we get this for a good price if not then probably leave it okay so we just got to another booth here and i found some tweety you guys know i love tweety he's my favorite of the looney tunes here we also got a windy here they're still in the package and i think these are from like the 80s 90s i think we're gonna grab these two or maybe just tweety if we can get it for a good price because it's missing it's kind of opening up some stuff if it's not a good price we'll probably leave them Okay, so my mom found Fred and also Scooby. I'm gonna get those guys. They are cute. I don't have them in the collection, especially that Fred. He looks I feel so like they're good. Too. Yeah, Fred looks so good there, though. Like, I feel like that's gotta be one of the older ones. I see Paw Patrol. You see what? Yeah. Paw Patrol. That is bluey, but if it would have been Paw Patrol, I mean, that is messed up. You're my mom. You should be on my side. You should have some respect for me as your son. Like, show a little love my way. That's messed up. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I got the Bart Simpson right here and also the TMNT cards my mom spotted. That was an awesome find, Mom. Yeah, it was a great job. So we got these guys. We're going to put them inside the cart. I had to take the hat off. It was getting hot. Jacket might be coming off very, very soon, too. But it also might be because I've been hot ever since we found that game sphere. <laughs> Somehow I always end up finding Dick Tracy stuff. Even though I'm really not 100% familiar with him, it's still cool to see. But I do know this right here, the plug and play TV games. That is an awesome one. If we had a SpongeBob one, for sure we'd be picking it up. I do love this Fred Flintstone up here. And this guy, we'll see if we can get it for a decent price because that is totally Y2K for sure. Electric Funk, Instant Messenger, because that was like a thing for like two years before we got smartphones. Okay, so we just got out of another booth right now and I bought this whole little bag of games. I'm not really sure what is even fully in there. I got the whole bag for 20 bucks, so we'll check it out when we get back to the cavern and we'll see what games we end up picking up. The reason why I picked it up is all I saw was a little Diego and Dora in there. So I feel like there's some promising stuff in here and also Sonic. So I grabbed it because of that stuff. We'll check it out later. All right, my mom's checking out something right now. What do you got there? Uh, I have no clue. See, this is how you feel, I'm sure, when I'm talking about game spheres. I have no clue what that is. So I just wanted to show you guys that because my mom doesn't usually pick stuff up. Usually she's just always along for the ride and always awesome and supportive as ever. Amazing as always. She did pick some stuff up today, so that is kind of cool. She got to get some stuff as well, so that's awesome. Yep. No bee stuff yet, right? No. We did see the bee movie. You're interested in that? No. You're not a fan There's of Jerry's? yellow Crocs. Will you wear them for me? Um, no. <laughs> Those aren't even Crocs, but... Those yeah. are Squawks. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just... But there's a lot of uh, knockoff stuff here, but that's to be expected at the flea market. Rep. 
Over here, we have some of the classic VHS box toys. I don't actually think I have this Woody in the collection, so I might pick one up. We also have Lion King. Who's in that one? We got Simba, the Mufasa. It looks like we got Simba in there. I know you guys had some of these growing up, but I had the one where the toy would actually sit on top of the VHS and like move. I didn't have these ones where the figure was inside, so definitely something new for me, but I'm gonna see if I can get that Toy Story one. It's probably the one that fits us the best. See, our cart's getting pretty full here. What's your favorite thing we found so far? The air diffuser. The air diffuser? Really? We found a game sphere. Okay, a game sphere. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's spherical. Spherical. Okay, then we got a bunch of Barbies over here, which are really cool, but the one I wanted to stop on was this right here, the old school 90s Looney Tunes truck hitch plug. Back in the day, literally, you'd see these guys, you'd see the Tasmanian devil mud flaps, all types of stuff. And then the iconic Simpsons collector's disc box that matches with none of the other seasons that have ever been released, the 10th season. Season with Lisa as the ninth one, and then we also have the Bart tenth one. I don't see the Homer one around here though. It's just another awesome booth, but I'm not gonna pick anything up at this one either. It's still cool to see, and definitely Y2K. <laughs> Okay, so we're looking around the last couple places here. I gotta say, the color on this controller is really beautiful. Like, I'm actually mesmerized by it. Like, certain colors can seriously just, like, stop me like a stop sign. I have to go check it out. This is a beautiful color. I don't really need it, but it's really cool to see here. And then over here, we have some awesome DVDs and stuff. But I think we're pretty much gonna check out right now. But my mom traveled all the way over here. Are you ready to go pretty much now soon? She's getting very hot. She brought her son out, but she is, what, tired slightly? I'm tired, just hot. Yeah, so we're gonna go look through the last couple lanes here and then we're gonna head out. But honestly, like I said, from the start of the day, this was a banger. We found so many other awesome bonus items I can't wait to share with you guys. But we'll check out all of them when we get to the cavern. If there's anything else to see on the way out of here though, I'll let you guys know. And my mom wanted to let you guys know if you guys are interested, they have Yeezys here for $5. So, you know, come and get them. Okay, so me and my mom are working our way out of here. She's a little upset though, because I decided to take the scenic route. <laughs> it looks nice though. Sometimes in life, you gotta go slow and take it one step at a time. No, I asked him to go through the sprinklers and he wouldn't. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna run through them, but <laughs> she wanted to take the she wanted to take the faster route, but I didn't want to miss out on the beautiful view. But guys, let's go ahead and head back to the cavern and I'll check in with you guys. Okay, so I know what you guys are thinking. Marcus, show us the boom ball. Well, I would love to show you the boom ball, except one problem. Yeah, I think you know who it is. Daisy. <laughs> Daisy took the boom ball and is now playing around with it like it's some kind of toy. I do not think she understands the level of technology that went into this. But I guess I'll let you guys know whenever she's done tossing it around. Okay, so I got the boom ball back from Daisy. Everything's chill, everything's fine. But we're also having a rainstorm right now. Ryan showed the rainstorm. That's not actually the rainstorm we're experiencing, but imagine it's similar to that. And it is freezing cold in here. So you will hear the heater slightly off to the left of you maybe. And that's also not the heater. Ryan turned that off. That sounds a little bit better now that the real heater's on, right? But let's start with the thing we all want to see the most. I have my whole cart back here with everything that we found at the fleet. But I don't even think we can go anywhere without just getting into the big find of the day. And that is the freaking game sphere, man. I am so excited. The sides of my mouth have been connected to my ears for the last two days since I picked this up. But now it's so amazing to be able to finally go through with all of you guys. So let's go ahead and pop this thing open. And again, Again, if you guys do not know, this is the Memorex Boom Ball. It is what they used on set for the Drake and Josh TV show to represent the game sphere. All they did was add some decals and actually made a pretty cool logo for a game console. Ryan's gonna pop it up on screen. And I think I wanna modify this one one day because it's gonna stay in the collection forever. And that's why I'm so glad we got it for a good deal because I don't have any plans on getting rid of this. I just wanna keep it in the collection and archive it as a piece of history. And the details that I wanna add to it are just gonna be something like decals where we can just take them off very easily. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. This is a package straight from Granny. We are opening up the actual game sphere. Let's do it. So it comes in a big piece of styrofoam, which is more protection than the one that Josh got from Grammy. Because that one literally came in a box with a single piece of bubble wrap. We're lucky that the games were even arrived to the Nichols house in decent condition. But let's move this across. Okay, it's gonna roll out of here if I pull this across. 
There's a little bit of tape up here. I'm gonna try to protect the plastic as much as I can. So, the <laughs> obviously, I should have expected that, but just seeing that domed styrofoam in there is so cool. Because this alone, not just being the game sphere, but it's just such a cool looking CD player. But the plastic's still on it. I've kind of protected the plastic a little bit here, so I should be able to get it off without ripping the plastic. And there it is. And oh my goodness, this thing. This thing is gorgeous and I literally have goosebumps going up my entire arm because right now we are holding the game sphere. <laughs> Welcome to GameSphere. And I never thought that I would ever have this item without spending a ridiculous amount of money to get it. And I didn't even think I'd ever find it in literally untouched condition. Not a single scratch on it. This is an unbelievable piece for us to add to the collection rep pack. I'm so glad you guys were here for this legendary find. Like I said, I'm going to open this guy up a little bit further and we're going to try and throw an actual CD in there and see how it works. So let's go ahead and get some shots while it's still pristine. And then we're going to plug this guy in and play. I love little CD off of the Memorex CD player, aka the Game Sphere. Okay, so I'm gonna open it up. We're gonna open it up together. I think what makes this thing so cool is it already has an awesome retro vibe. I think partly why it's expensive is not just because of the Drake and Josh effect, if that's the thing, but it just makes for an awesome CD player. So if I lift this piece up, it actually opens the entire dome up to this little like Pac-Man mouth. He almost reminds me of like Konami Tom in some ways, but it just makes it so much more fun to be able to, you know, boom. Boom, now my CD is protected. It has a really cool Spaceman vibe to it. And like I was saying earlier, I feel like this device is such a perfect piece to lend your mind to so many creative ideas of what it could be capable of. But anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and start this thing up. Okay, it's plugged in and now we give it power. And it is on 87.9 FM, which apparently is nothing. Let me see if I can fix this. Okay, so it seems that it does also still work as a radio. Brian is gonna play over the music here. So imagine that it's playing non-copyrighted uh, vibes right now. Oh yeah, this is so great and not copyrighted. Whoa. <laughs> but it also has an EQ switcher where you can switch it between rock, pop, classic, not classic, rock, pop, classic. But let's go ahead and put a CD in here. Okay, now for this, I really wish that I had the Drake and Josh soundtrack CD or any of Drake Bell's albums to put inside of this. But unfortunately, I'm gonna have to work with what we got. I would do the SpongeBob soundtrack, but that one is currently sealed in the collection. But I do have the Rugrats movie that was sent in by fan mail by York Peppermint Maddie. So thank you so much, York Peppermint Maddie. We're gonna be able to play this CD, thanks to you. So let's go ahead and throw the Rugrats soundtrack in there. See the quality, but more importantly than that, let's just see this thing in action. All right, so we got the CD in there. I'm going to think it's just go with a straight play here. Maybe it'll go for it. All right, maybe we got to switch to function. Okay, so I tried to get it to work, and you guys will see I, I was struggling. I even tried to look for the manual, but I tried like three different CDs and I couldn't get it to work. So I do think there is a problem with the actual motor inside of it that runs the CD or the sensor to where it won't read the CD. But thankfully there is a CD repair shop like less than five minutes from me. So I do think I should be able to get this fixed for relatively cheap. I just hope that they don't scratch it because it is a scratch and fingerprint magnet. That is the number one priority to me either way we can still use this as an awesome display piece and the radio aspect of it still does work but i would like to get it working so we can get a cd player in it to actually customize the audio within it so i'm just going to spin the disc with my finger and then close it and then ryan's going to play some non-copyrighted music and we're just going to imagine it's working okay okay let's, let's, let's do that Woo! yeah 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 this is so so much non-copyrighted fun Still an amazing find, we will fix this. Either way, we have a damn game sphere. Next item. Some of the other items we got, let's go through it. One being Bart Simpson here. He is now much cleaner than when we first got him. I wish I would have gotten shots of what he looked like before I cleaned him, but I was so excited about having him in the collection. I've seen him so many different times on my searches and they always are asking somewhere like 15 to $20. And if we go to somewhere like a specialty antique store, they can ask even up to like $30. So being able to get this for $6 today was a Bart Simpson level four 
four finger discount and all I had to do was clean him up and he's pretty much in mint shape. So here's a little clip of me cleaning him. You guys can see pretty much all the damage wiped off and we're left with a brand new Bart Simpson's Universal Studios exclusive drink cup. And this is a release from 2010, making this one over 10 years old. Then it's gonna go great in the variety room. So stick around to see me add this to the collection and make sure you're subscribed so you do not miss me updating the repairs on the boom ball. Next up, we found this really weird Bratz Electric Funk Instant Text Messenger. And I just thought this was a really, really cool pickup because we are working on the Y2K collection. I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna keep this for it or not, but there's nothing more Y2K than an electric messenger. I remember the first person I ever saw with a PDA was I think Lindsay Lohan. And I immediately thought that might make you actually one of the coolest people on earth. And this was made in 2003. And you may have had an older family member in your life, like your mom or even an older brother and sister that had something similar. And we've seen that with phones, computers, all types of technology. Where they try to make a kid version of it to where you can feel like you have the same piece of tech as your parents or your older brother or sister. But this one in particular got the People's Choice Toy of the Year and includes games like Favorite Word Think, Code Breaker, and for some reason in that group, Tennis. And apparently you could actually send text messages or even be in a group message with people from up to 100 feet away. So if you happen to have somebody else in your neighborhood who has a wireless, a Bratz instant messenger, you may be able to have a conversation. And I gotta say, Bratz never fails on the packaging and making it glamorous as ever. But let's move on to the next item we've got here, which is a simple one here, and that is a Tweety Bird. I'm gonna try to get this little stain that we got out of here. It might be a little tough, but I think we should be able to do it. And if we can get that little stain out of there. This is definitely an awesome piece to have to the collection. Either way, I got it for a dollar. I couldn't leave Tweety behind. Another item I got for a dollar is apparently the character Lead Bottom. It's like mama's jalapeno chili. Spicy. And I have to say, he looks really, really cool. I've always been a fan of airplanes in general, so I definitely have to check out the film. But to pick him up in the blister for a dollar, again, I could not leave him behind. A Disney character, nonetheless, a Pixar character, I had to pick him up. I guess we'll just stick with a dollar for a while. I also picked up the SpongeBob Lost in Times Greek statue god SpongeBob right here. I think I've never understood what he was playing here, and I think I might have realized that it's some kind of like shot put maybe. I have no clue what he's doing in this particular shot, but either way, I love the design and the fact that it is anatomically correct. Next, we found these Looney Tunes salt and pepper shakers, but one is of Sylvester and one is of Tweety. But what's even cooler about them is they actually stack up to make a two-place tower. And oh my goodness, the Tweety bird is so adorable. The whole thing is made of ceramic, so I'm going to be really careful with it. But its design is beautiful. And as you can see up there, it is a salt shaker. Or is it a pepper shaker? You let me know in the comments. It's three whole salt or pepper. I know. I definitely know. But still let me know in the comments. And then the Sylvester one is equally as cute but a little bit suspicious we have the sylvester it turns into a birdhouse slash tower we have the sylvester wrapped around the entire base there but we can actually take the tweety pepper shaker and put it right on top there to make it a complete tower birdhouse with sylvester trying to sneak up on tweety it's so beautifully sculpted and the fact that it's made of ceramic and survived this long makes it even more special to have in the collection but an amazing find for like ten dollars Okay, so this bag kind of contains, the rip bag contains all the small stuff we got, but I'm also gonna go through all the games that came in that little bag of games that I got, because you guys aren't gonna believe some of the pieces we were able to add to the collection. But let's start with the games that we did pick up knowing what we were getting, like Danny Phantom Urban Jungle. This is one of the few games in the collection that I do not have sealed or even a cartridge to play. So this is the first one added to the collection. And the reason I picked them up is because technically for adding them up, I could still add the sealed one and also an available version because I know I won't open the sealed one. So it's always good to have a play copy. And then we have the SpongeBob Volume 1 to video, which I think I do have in the collection, but I do not have it open. So this one is an awesome piece to add to the collection. Two great pickups, I'm super grateful we found them. We can't forget our first find of the day almost, and that is Marlin. Marlin is pretty much my favorite character in Finding Nemo. I don't think that any of the humor or the movie would have worked if it wasn't for the stability that is Marlin. Hey. Answer the stripe question. Three. No! See, something's wrong with you. I have one 
two, three. Super productive dad and seriously dad goals. I always looked up to Marlon even as a kid and thought he was such a great father for Nemo. Even playing the PS2 video games, as soon as I saw Marlon, I knew I couldn't let him behind when he was giving me his condescending joking stare. And next up we have these Ninja Turtles. You guys are seeing I'm slowly adding Ninja Turtles into the collection and uh, I couldn't leave them behind because my mom found them and she found the entire set. So we have Donatello with the flappable wings here. It looks like these were released at McDonald's. We have Leonardo who has a push button as well that works a propeller on top of his hat. I always wanted one of those hats as a kid that had one of those little fans on top of it, but I always assumed I was not jovial enough, but a lot of fun. <laughs> And then we have Mikey here, who also has the same push button, but it rotates his whole body in a 360 degrees, which I'm not going to question the anatomy of a mutant turtle, especially not a teenage one. And then we have a raft, which I'm not even sure if he is from the same set because he doesn't actually have like a push button. You just move him back and forward like this, and he throws a series of awesome blows, none of which are just centered of his body, but you know how the punches beat it, just be side slugs. But man, look at that combo. <laughs> So we got the whole set there and they all stand up really, really cool next to one another as the whole crew of turtles could not leave this trio behind. So I'm so glad that we found them. But that finishes up for the turtles here. I'm going to show you a couple more items and then we're going to go through that lot of games there, which some are amazing and some are kind of like, I guess it's cool to have it. But right here we have a 1999 Fred. My man is over 20 years old and still looking in great shape. And this is a posable bin figure. It's still amazing that it's even in this shape after all these years. And Fred is one of my favorite members of the mystery gang so i'm glad that we found him along with scooby who is also from the same series in 1999 it looks like the rest of the crew was separated but for whatever reason fred and scooby stayed together so i'm gonna make sure that they stay together and if we can ever find some other members of the gang along the way we'll grow their family then i got this adventure time wall it says bff on it i mean i could totally see this like with like a little hot topic tag over this on the racks back in 2010 2011 so i could not leave it behind it is a little bit more cracked than i realized when i was there but i got it for a dollars so can't complain too much now for the games in here i'm gonna have to go through them in a weird order i guess so on the table are all the games that were contained inside of this bag on screen surprisingly we have three things in here that we're going to be able to add to the collection but let me show you everything one is professor langton's diabolical box which i've never played this game but it's super cool because i remember the langton games on the ds so i'll probably check this out spyro dawn of the dragon which i feel like even just adding these two games was worth the ten dollars i paid Steel Horizon, another game I've never heard of. But no disrespect, I've just never heard of it. Then for the PSP, we got Street 3. We have just the disc outside of the PSP case of NBA 07, which I am not familiar with. I, I've never really played that many sports games. I can't, couldn't tell you too much about it. Along with a copy of Transformers. I'm not sure if that's the game or the actual movie, but Transformers. And what made me pick up the bin in the first place was this Sonic game I saw there. And it's Sonic Pinball for the Sega. Next up on Game Boy Advance, we have Operation Armored Liberty, which I'm not going to lie, sounds like the four as game I've ever heard of. Not saying it is, just saying if I would have read that, I would have assumed that that was something that came on after Judge Judy. Then we have Thomas calling all engines. You can join Thomas and his friends as they clean up the island and help build the airport. Then we have, Le then we have NASCAR. Finding Nemo. That's four. But then we get to add two being Dora Wild Rescue Life. Ride a speedboat through the Sydney Harbor. And SpongeBob saves the day. Ahoy, SpongeBob! Look at this. Oh, wow! That's spongy. Which I cannot lie, I was not expecting to be able to add two, let alone three new Nickelodeon games to the collection when I picked up this bag. I really just got it for the Sonic, but then there was a whole container in there filled with DS games. So on the first page here, we have Drawn to Life, some kind of fabulous finds game, and also Disney Magic Jewels. On the back page here, you'll see we have Brain Boost, Shrek, and also My Fashion Mall. But more importantly, if you look over here, we actually have a copy of SpongeBob SquarePants Atlantis SquarePants on the DS. A game I do have on the GBA sealed, but I do not have in the collection on the DS. So to be able to have one to play is so cool to finally have in the collection. Along with a couple other games you'll see around that, like Pets, 
style savvy and smart boys game room or whatever whatever these are. I have to say the game sphere was the find of the day, but secondary I say this bag of games, but we're not done quite yet. I also found these VHS like book copy B McDonald's toys. We have Alice in there. I got these for a dollar. Has Alice in there. I'm not gonna take her out because her hair is already looking rough. I'm gonna try and save her an even worse hair day. Then we have a Cheshire cat home that it comes with too. I picked this one up because they were two for five, but I kind of got ripped because I wanted it for the Woody. And if you look behind there, there should be his hat, but his hat is missing. I had no clue that the hat was missing. I just thought it came with hatless Woody. And then I realized when I got home that there was no hat in there in the insert. But either way, we got this. Now getting towards the end here, we have a copy of the Hannah Montana One in a Million, which is a really cool disc, like I said, because of the fact that it has the collaboration episode with the Jonas Brothers. I remember that episode being on repeat on Disney Channel at the time. So it's really cool to see it. And then we have Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost, which I'm pretty sure I don't have this in the collection already. So on our search to collect all the Scooby-Doo media, this was a clutch find. But the last item in our box today is kind of probably the weirdest one. And I think it only makes sense because today we did get the best of both worlds, being that I got to add some awesome stuff to the collection and I also got to hang out with you guys. And I say this every single time, but with going down these collection hunts, building this collection as a whole, it would not be nearly as important or as fun if it wasn't for you. So thank you so much for being a part of all of my journeys and like, commenting, subscribing, all that stuff to support my goal here to keep growing this collection and along with being able to make content and hopefully make you guys smile along the way. So I really do get the best of both worlds. So thank you for that. And the last item we got here is the Hannah Montana speaker system. It has an input in it for a microphone and also a guitar and a microphone controller to adjust the echo along with a master volume, a mic volume, a guitar volume, and also an iPod volume. So you could theoretically put your iPod in, rock some Hannah Montana, learn the guitar, Car rips yourself and sing the lyrics. And I'll notice that on the packaging is a super, super early photo of Miley Cyrus. Comparatively to the Jonas Brother collaboration disc I showed you a little while ago. This is like season one Miles, if I may call you that, Miles. But on the bottom of the box, it's kind of interesting because it almost looks like Game of Thrones-esque and it says Secret Celebrity, which of course we know that's what Hannah Montana ultimately is. The whole aesthetic of this thing is everything along with the fact that it has a handle as well to bring along with you and an aux port so you you can just plug in directly if you don't want to use an old school iPod. It's very future proof and makes my top three for my favorite finds today. But that is actually everything that we found today, guys. I am more than content with everything that we found and not just that I had an amazing day with my mom. So my whole day was a 10 out of 10. So thank you guys so much for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It seriously was one for the books being that we found the actual game sphere and so many other awesome items that we're gonna cherish on this journey. But anyway, without further ado, you guys know the drill. Scan it. Okay, Mitchell, so I usually grill Parker on this and letting him know which one is the actual bin with the, the loose cartridges in it. So I'm showing you it once and one time only. And as we add more tins here, I'm gonna ask you to call out which one's which. One of them has bag clips. One of them has, I think, post-it notes or something like that. And then, <laughs> this one has the game cartridges, okay? I rarely will ever ask for the post-it note one. I will usually ask for the game cartridge one, okay? So it's inside of this guy right here. But these are all new ones we are adding. So we are able to add Lantis Square Pantis. We are gonna add the Leapster, LMAX, SpongeBob Save the Day. We're gonna add SpongeBob Game Boy Advance Video. We're gonna add Dora's Wildlife Rest. And we're gonna add Danny Phantom Urban Jungle. So all of these loose cartridges literally almost doubled our loose cartridge collection right here into our tin. All right, and Raphael and the gang is actually going inside the toy box just because I actually think I might pull these out every now and then just for the reference and I'm not gonna lie, they're kind of fun. Okay, in the game sphere, of course, I'm gonna be putting it over here in the gaming collection. But you guys know I'm currently working on the new shelving system for all these DVDs and VHSs. So until then, we're not gonna have enough space for the game sphere to go down there. So I'm gonna put it inside where it's safe so I can get this thing fixed and the CD aspect of it. And not just that, keep it protected until we can move it into the collection. So for the Sonic pinball, you guys know I'm putting with the rest of my Sonic and Nintendo stuff that's adding up here for that collection. We got quite a lot of it starting to accumulate. And an unrelated fan because it is not necessary right now. 
Okay, and Scooby Doo the Witch's Ghost. I am going to be watching this tonight, actually. So I'm going to take this out. Mitchell, you said you've seen this one, correct? Yep. It's one of the few ones, too, that I know that has like actual paranormal, like, you know, not just people behind a mask. So okay, it's okay. Pretty cool. A lot of the Scooby Doo purists, they kind of like to keep things where there's no supernatural stuff, but I, kind of, I can't lie. That kind of makes it a little bit scarier or the few times they do do it in Scooby Doo. Yeah. So we're going to have that and also the Hannah Montana one in a million. This one I will be keeping sealed for right now because I don't know. I think I have that these episodes on Disney Plus as well but it's good to have it in the collection okay and Fred and Scooby I'm gonna clean them up so they're a little bit better Fred is a little derpy yeah just a little he looks like he sells like celebrity garbage on the internet there's just something <laughs> yeah something off about him that I just don't like him. but either way I'm gonna clean up this Fred and this Scooby and we're gonna add them back here in the collection at least the Scooby for sure and the Fred will be added into the storage or the vault collection <laughs> okay and for the Bart Simpson I thought about bringing him in here because we do have a little bit of a Simpsons collection but in my kitchen i have kind of like a theme going on with kind of like retro vintage type of like food related stuff and since this is technically a universal studios cup i can put it in there but again you guys haven't seen my kitchen yet i'll be updating you guys on that as we start to add to that collection eventually this entire house is going to be collection wonderland <laughs> Every room is going to look like a different scene from Roger Rabbit, essentially. There's going to be cartoons everywhere. All right, guys. So that is actually for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys smack that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. And make sure you guys check out this video on your screen right here, which is the last epic video on this channel. I know you guys are going to love it. I'll see you guys over there. And make sure you subscribe so you do not miss the upcoming videos. They are going to be awesome. I can't wait to share them with you. So make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys over there. And as always, I will see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios. Bloop.